Well, schools across the metro area will open in the coming days in several different ways. And as Danny Monteverdi reports, they're all still asking a lot of questions about how to make sure students can learn and that everyone stays safe. New Orleans public school students will start the year in front of a laptop instead of a teacher. Making sure every student has a computer is just one concern as the academic year begins in the age of COVID. City council members voiced that concern Monday during a special meeting, noting that 20% of public school students don't have internet access. They have like a cell phone in the house. But we know that's only good as if the individual is home when the student is learning. We do need to solve that short-term solution of making sure that, you know, families aren't having to drive, you know, all parts of town during the night to try to find spots where they can get some Wi-Fi so their kids can, can finish their homework. The lack of a nurse for every school led to a dispute between Council President Jason Williams and Councilman Jay Banks. Uh, if we were going to invest more, it might be in the area of... Uh, whether it's custodians and engineers in terms of sanitizing that area. Common sense would say that in a medical emergency, having a medical professional on site ain't a bad thing. Public school officials say they'll consider the number of new cases, the number of positive cases, and testing capabilities for schools before they allow students back. Catholic schools in the metro area, however, will reopen. They'll allow a mix of in-person and virtual learning. Catholic School Superintendent Raynell Houston issued a statement to the council that read in part, these decisions were not based on feelings or emotions, but by looking at data. Dr. Joseph Cantor, the state's assistant health officer, told the council all schools should expect COVID to affect their campus in some way. Any school would be well served to um, make investments now in their virtual learning platforms. Cantor told the council it's not a question of if disruptions happen, but when? Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Well, New Orleans public school leaders say that they hope to get students back in the classroom after Labor Day, but that data will determine their timetable. Now